Blessed day, my people. So the moment that a lot of persons have been waiting for is finally here. Richie Stevens have finally responded to these serious allegations made by General Ling, which is the Chinese girl basically saying him all around take the thing back in 2019. Now, people, I don't say that wait because I know say this would have eventually happened, seeing as the thing basically I get serious right now. I remember said these allegations, and on one time she actually come out and said that it's actually two times. You know, say people. So I think he had no choice but to actually make a video and just tell theme side of the story and people after listening to it now i'm not telling you straight up a lot of persons aren't convinced that he's telling the truth but a lot of persons actually believe him and said this sounds more it sounds more sensible than what she's saying you understand but i'm not even going to know what he's talking i'm going to make you actually listen what richie stevens officer and as usual you can leave some comments in the comment section and also after when he's done i'm going to show you some of the reactions i'm going to show you the like to dislike ratio that he got on his video yes my people so Listen to him, officer. Hello, everyone. My name is Richard Stevenson, a.k.a. Richie Stevens. And I'm here today to address some allegations that you might see going around about me. Initially, I said I wasn't going to say anything. But now, I think I owe it to my family, to my friends, and to my fans to come out and set the record straight. Miss Elaine Lim came out on social media and made some allegations against me. Some of what she said is true. But I am here to tell you what is true. One, she was on tour with me in Australia in 2019. Two, she made a formal report to the police against me. Three, she did a rape kit. But what she did not tell you a thorough investigation was done by the Australian police. I was detained. They took a statement from me, a statement from her, a statement from other people, and there were cameras in the vicinity. While I was detained, I called my attorney, Mr. Christopher Townsend, who advised me on what to do. And at the end of that investigation, they found her allegations were simply baseless. You know what is true? I'm really sorry for her to know that she would go that far to try and get some recognition. We're living in a time where people are doing certain things. We see it every day. Some people believe that likes are far more important than the truth. And we're here today to bring the truth out. Check this out. She claimed that I came back to Jamaica and run on the, to the media and give them fabricated stories. I have not done not even one interview. I have not posted a video about the incident. I didn't do nothing like that. The only thing happened is my attorney, Mr. Christopher Townsend, wrote a letter that I posted on my IG. That's all I did. Now this is in contrast to what she has done. You have to remember this, you know, people. This woman is a professional video editor. And if you take a keen look at her video, you see the sheet behind her. You see she talk in a certain type of way. This is nothing but a stage performance, a whole stage production. No, you don't need to stage the truth. All right, people, let's take a look at something where she say. She said in her country, I would be guilty until proven innocent, which is not even true. But that tells you how warped her mind is. She also took the time to invite the media to link her personally. Clearly, she had a boss. Now, ladies and gentlemen, she even trying to make it seem as if she didn't get justice in Australia. Australia is one of the most serious countries in the world when it comes to sex crimes. Now, I'm a very serious supporter of bringing sexual predators to justice. But her allegations are simply not true. There are people with serious issues as a result of sex crimes. So when people like her come with all these lies, it does not help the movement. I am Richard Stevens, and that's my piece. 
All right, people. So after hearing that, I am pretty sure that some of you guys might look on the story from a different side. You understand? For one, he said that a thorough investigation was done by the police. They never say where anything made sense of what she said. You understand? And of course, if you come out and say, yo, that man, they go sub ups and rape me, you know, if you can't show proof, then I think that the person should actually... You can't make a man go to prison for something where you can't prove. You understand? Because if a woman actually come out and tell a serious lie like that for me, or if me have a son and she tell a lie like that for him, more than one people for actually just believe it without proof. You understand what I say? Even though we know that this alleged incident is like a long time ago from 2019, um, and we in our 2021, so almost 12 years it happens in, because I think she said in October it happened, something like that, or alleged that is in October it happened. I have to make sure I choose my words correctly, because as I say, people, this is some serious allegations, you understand? Um, yeah, Futa, I did even say it, if she can't prove certain things, then it you know, makes sense, you understand? Um, more than one of her daughter, and she come out and tell a lie like that for a man, you understand what I say? But at the same time, we don't really want doubt people who go through things like this because these doubts actually make some people no want to talk out, especially if it is true and it has to do with like a high profile person. You know, a lot of persons tend to believe the high profile person because they're more famous and people will say, boy, a little hype shall look, a little clothes shall look and thing. Not saying that's the case with this situation, you know, people. But anyway, um, I'm going to get to some of the comments them now so you can see what's going on. And basically, when you look on the like to dislike ratio, it has 40 thumbs down and 86 thumbs up. And to be honest, people, you can tell, see, a lot of these people who thumbs down the video, them already make up their mind and them don't believe everything that she's saying. You understand? You know them people who just say, yo, I go up on the video if you dislike it. Because when I listen to him, you know, we must say actually make sense. The police, them don't investigate it and thing. But one person left a comment saying, glad to know we are hearing another side of this story. I have known Richard for over 20 years and I don't know him to be the person that the accuser mentioned about this outstanding Jamaican citizen. He is a straight up family who has an impeccable record of doing great humanitarian things for his community and those less fortunate. I do understand that RAPE does happen from time to time, but the fact that this allegation was brought to the police in Australia and dismissed makes one wonder what was the motive. Yes, one man said, people, um, our next person say, so she just a mad woman then to come out and say that just for recognition, she would have gotten recognized just by saying she toured with you, bro. Boy, is a way. That's all I can say. Is a way. Me personally believe her. So that is a supporter. An next person said, Boy, Richie, see what them do, Bill Cosby. Them try it with Kobe Bryant. Did anybody ever hear of the Central Park Jagger and the five black boys? I don't really know where I'm talking about this. So an next person said, I think both parties need to let their attorneys deal with this through the justice system and stay out of social media because this can get sticky. An next person said, I believe you, Mr. Richie. Even though you have a weakness for sweetness with some laughing emoji, she was trying to frame you, my brother. An next person said, I believe the artist, and it kind of puts her part of the story into better context. Still, there is something missing. And I believe that part of the people. Something just not sound right. You understand what I say? I don't know if she really had do this for likes. I don't know what her motive is, but something is definitely missing from this story. You see my people, I'm definitely not going to try to bust my brain for figure it out. I leave that to the specialist them. You understand what I say? But yeah, people, let me know what you guys think about this. This is a very serious topic, and I'm pretty sure that she will be responding to this video. I'm not asking her people. She's definitely going to respond, whether it be by making a video on Instagram, YouTube, or ever. Is it? But what well, for those watch and see what's going on? That's all we can do. You understand? But uh, one thing we can say: I would never, ever, ever want a woman to tell a lie like that. For me, that I'm just saying, if it's a lie, and also what's in the dark must come to light. So if she's actually speaking the truth, then it eventually will come out. You understand? But for now. Richie Stevens, you see a lot of pointers and you see a lot of things that make sense where kind of make some people look on your side of the story to be actually more factual. But anyway, people, let me know what you guys think as I say. Bless upon yourself. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and turn the notification bell on. Bless upon yourself and keep safe. I'm out.